I can imagine you two have been in projects that have been incredible. When you read the script, you must have thought this is really something very, very special. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. It was, it was a really interesting reading experience, too, because the music cues were included in the script, so you could listen to the music as you read it. He would use these colorful fonts uh, in the script that sort of illuminated, like, a mood, and I don't mean that in a general way. If you can be specific with mood, I think Trey was very specific with the mood that he wanted to evoke in each section of the film. Um, and it's such an interesting narrative device to have a protagonist, to lose that protagonist, and then start out with a whole new protagonist for the second half of the film. I knew it was bold, and it was unlike anything that I'd ever read before. You never know if other people are going to embrace <laughs> it, but I was excited by being a part of it. Yeah, I mean, it's such a, the way it's written and the way it's scripted, it's, it's very vibrant. It's such a raw movie. I mean, did it yeah. give you enough space to kind of improvise, but keep to the, keep to the, the, the basis of the script? If you like? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that, what, one of the things we really are grateful to Trey about is as specific as he is, if you read that script, as, specific, as much as clear as he saw, yeah. you know, what, what, what he saw. As he, he knew what he saw, he knew what he was dreaming of, and so much of this is autobiographical, so yeah. he had so much information, and yet he was uh, confident enough to bring people in and give them all the room in the world. Yeah. Literally, all the room in the world. Like, he literally sat in a corner and filmed us. Yeah. So some of my favorite moments in the movie are movies that I actually forget. Sure. Just things that actually organically happened in the moment. I don't even remember. It's seamless. I don't remember what was in the script. This is true. And what was in a moment. There, are, yeah. there are times in which you're like, he's going to cut, right? Oh, no. He did like, like, And he just lets it he roll. He lets it roll. And, and then you learn to be like, oh, yeah. we're just going to live. Yeah. We're just I used to think, live. well, how is this going to cut together? Uh, you, you asked us in the beginning, you know, like, did we know? Um, I didn't know. I don't think anybody knows. A friend of mine said once, um, actually it was a friend from Hamilton. Yeah. We said, you know, I think every actor believes everything you do is going to be received this way. <laughs> and unfortunately, you know, so few things are, um, so few times is, you know, what you appreciate about a project recognized universally yeah. in the moment that you're doing it. Right. And uh, so whenever it happens, it's a gift. Yeah. Amen. And just finally, I wanted to ask you about your two young co-stars. I mean, they're extraordinary yeah. in the movie, and they carry a lot of the weight, and they're yes. both extraordinary. I mean, when you saw their performances, both off-screen and then on-screen, you must have been just blown away by what they were what they were doing. I texted them immediately, and I was like, you guys have educated Woo! your dad. Woo! Like, I learned so much in watching them. Like, it, it, an exercise in just giving yourself permission to go wherever the character needs to go yeah. in order to communicate the truth. I mean, that dude, Kelvin, I think he might be a little touched, and I mean that <laughs> in the best way possible, but he did not censor himself. You know what I mean? And then um, Taylor, yeah. like she, she's so introspective and oh so thoughtful, and she wasn't afraid to be small. Right? Yeah. Like, I mean, like, really, really small. And then you see this young girl sort of blossom, blossom. and come out of her shell throughout the course of the film. I, two beautiful performances. And I learned from them, uh, quite honestly, before we even started filming. I mean, there, there were things that they did and choices that they made before yeah. he started filming. Sure. Conversations he had before he started filming yeah. that were, like, informative. I mean, I just remember the first time I sat down with Taylor, just the kind of the kind of time that she took to really kind of kind of map out what what this character needed to be and who she was things that were not actually in the script that it's actually a very brave thing for any actor to do specific, specifically a young woman yeah. um, to do in this movie I, I just uh, I think we are so so excited that you know people are responding to their performances in this movie yeah. ladies and gentlemen you're watching. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!